Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 7. So, in the previous episode the guys went on a scavenger hunt and it was so funny. Everybody was enjoying in the beginning but then they just got so competitive and at the end everybody was a winner but no one enjoyed it except Amy and Howard because they were vibing the whole episode. They found just one common thing between both of them and they just went for it, they were genuinely vibing. They didn't even finish the quest, they just went to the bar and sang songs. I think it's just the best thing they could have done, just enjoy the day. And I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today, so let's talking guys, let's get started. Awkward silence, Sheldon on his phone, no touching, somebody's having date night. <laughs> Sheldon's looking up the phallic symbolism of root vegetables in Renaissance paintings. Oh no, I got bored with that, I'm just browsing cuticles scissors on Amazon. <laughs> How do you not tear off his clothes uh, and take them right here on this table? If you do that, I'll scream. <laughs> Sheldon, I have some exciting news to tell you. I've been invited to consult on an experiment at your university for a few months. Isn't that great? Ooh. We could have lunch together, we could carpool. You know, riding with Leonard has gotten a little tedious lately. The, the only car game he ever wants to play is the quiet game. <laughs> and he's terrible at it. I, I wonder always win. why. So you're okay with this? Well, why wouldn't I be? Well, this project would have us working in close proximity to one another, and there's the vulgar adage that one should not defecate where one eats. But what does that have to do with you working at the university? Sheldon, don't defecate where you eat means don't have a romantic relationship in the workplace. Yeah, I always took it literally. That's why I have never once moved my bowels in this or any restaurant. I'm relieved that you don't have a problem with us working together. Not as relieved as I'm about to be. <laughs> <laughs> the brave new world, little lady. Are you crazy? You don't want your girlfriend at work with you. Hell clam. I'm why not? sure they will be good. Very fair. No, no, I think it'll be great. Maybe next time he gets conjunctivitis at work, she can hold his head and try to put the drops in his eyes. <laughs> Giant baby. <laughs> at the raging ogre. I don't know. <laughs> It was talking about you. And I'd never want to work with Bernadette. I mean, can you imagine seeing someone all day long and then you're supposed to hang out with them after work, too? But hold on. We do that all the time. You and I work together and play together. Yeah, I know, and it drove me into the arms of another woman. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but I won't be seeing any more of Amy than I already do. I assume we'll deduct any extra time we spend together at work from our weekly quota. Please let me be there when you tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> Record it on your phone as well. So Amy, what are you going to be working on at Caltech? I'm leading a study to see if deficiency of the monoamine oxidase enzyme leads to paralyzing fear in monkeys. If they're anything like humans, the answer is yes. You've done this experiment on humans? You mean like death row inmates with nothing to lose? No, that would be unethical. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know, not a lot of people know this, but the monoamine oxidase enzyme was discovered by a woman, Mary Bernheim. <laughs> That's right, my phone is just as smart as you guys. <laughs> Amy Bernadette Penny. He's never gonna stop doing that, is he? I don't mind. I'm hoping to put his love of repetition to good use someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You can't work where I work. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Nice. <laughs> I, I already signed the contract. I cashed a check. You are not going to come out of this looking good. It's too late, Sheldon. I thought you said you were fine with it. Well, I was, but that was before Howard explained to me how awful it would be if he had to work with his significant other. Uh-oh. That's it, Howard. Now don't be insulted. <laughs> he just peace. thinks too much of you. <laughs> so are we good here? No, we're not good here. I am working on this project. Yeah, and you can't tell her what she can and cannot do. Sheldon, you don't have to worry about me bothering you. I'll be in a different building, and we don't even have to have lunch together. Before all things, I'm a scientist. I'm just there to do my work, and with a little luck, scare the living crap out of some monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you sure your moth-like personality won't be drawn to this blazing fire that is myself? <laughs> more and more sure. <laughs> Well, then, you Everything will be all right. Listen to me, Sheldon misunderstood. If you're going to lie to your wife, don't start the sentence with Sheldon misunderstood. Oh, that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> well? I did say that, and I think it's true. I think if we work together and live together, we'd get sick of each other. Yeah, but to be fair, he only said the part about him getting sick of you. For the love of God, why? <laughs> Sheldon, you don't help him. Just go away. What exactly do you think you'd get sick of? His only options here are to fake a heart attack or have a real one. Is it my voice? Am I too bossy? 
My arm is feeling numb. <laughs> That's the wrong arm for a heart attack, doofus. My point is, I'm sure <laughs> there are things about me that would drive you crazy if you had to deal with them all day long. Like looking me in the eye and lying to me? Find somewhere else to sleep tonight. Bernie. If it makes you feel any better, Amy and I are fine. <laughs> yeah. While well, I really leave. Really good. I mean, you know, Sheldon, none of this would have happened if I hadn't tried to help you. Uh, it also wouldn't have happened if in the early universe, hydrogen was a little more common or a little less common. <laughs> this is fun. Your turn. <laughs> Gentlemen. Amy. Hey. Hello. Aww. That was kind of icy. You too. Okay. Oh, we're fine. As Howard advised, she's merely respecting our professional boundaries. Take relationship advice from a man who spent last night braiding Raj's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it would appear I was worried for nothing. Look at her, desperately wishing she was over here at the cool table. No, seems like she's Don't worry, enjoying it. Flame I guess her colleagues or something. And this is Dr. Gunderson from Stockholm. Yeah, ah, Sweden, yeah. home of my favorite Muppet and uh, second favorite meatball. <laughs> Okay, uh, the Nordic reputation for lack of humor is well-founded. Boy, is his name Gunderson or No Funderson? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Where are we going with this, Dr. Cooper? Yeah, oh, please. I'm your boyfriend. You call me Sheldon. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. I'm in a boy-girl relationship with this cute little lump of wool. Aww. Sheldon. Yeah, it's a physical relationship, too. Hand-holding, hugging, even on Oh, my days. God. Sheldon, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin Ow. the professionalism. Wow. He could have just said hi, image number and that's one. it. The rest, no. Let's kick things up a notch. Image number three, crocodile with a mouthful of monkeys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dr. Fowler. What do you want, Sheldon? Well, I'm done with work, so... <gasps> oh, <laughs> <laughs> what exactly are you doing? Determining baseline fear levels in capuchin monkeys by measuring their response to visual stimuli. So goofing off. I'm done with work, and Leonard's not. So good news, you get to take me home. But Play she's not done right. working. I can't leave now, Sheldon. I'm very busy. Besides, why would I want to do you a favor after the way you treated me in the cafeteria? Image number four, boa constrictor. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to mention it on experiment on Sheldon. About? My behavior in the cafeteria was delightful. Yeah, maybe your friend Gunderson needs to head over to Ikea and assemble a sense of humor. <laughs> you embarrassed me in front of my colleagues on my first day here. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for this. Find another way home. I'm starting to get the sense that you're angry with me. Really? What tipped is. you off? Image number six, woman giving birth. Help me. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Where you been? Oh, uh, I had to take the bus home. <laughs> Fell asleep and missed my stop. Aww. I thought Amy was gonna drive you home. Yeah, I thought so too, but she's acting very strangely. Okay, Sheldon, what happened between you and Amy? What? Can you believe she said I embarrassed her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. But 100%. you didn't even have the details. I've known you a long time, and I'm going to tell you this with all the love I can possibly muster. Amy's right, you're wrong. <laughs> but you we don't, don't need know details. That. You're not listening to my side of it. Okay, fine, Sheldon, what is your side? Well... Nope, gotta go with Amy on this one. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. I may have overreacted. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't handle it so great either. It's just sometimes I feel like you enjoy spending time with your friends more than with me. You spend all day together at work, and then you all hang out at night playing games, going to the comic book store? Wow, well, yeah, no, I get that. I'm so sorry. Starting tomorrow, I am turning over a new leaf. Time with you is my number one priority. <laughs> Why tomorrow? <laughs> but we're real close to finishing off the new Batman game. <laughs> you, yeah, you're walking on the edge of the knife. That's it. Should I go after you? No! <laughs> I can keep playing. Thanks for getting me in trouble. Amy. Sheldon, what are you doing here so late? I couldn't sleep because I kept thinking about what happened earlier between us. This isn't easy to say. All relationships are difficult, even more so when you're in one with a person who struggles with everyday social interactions, and frankly, who can strike some people as being kind of a weirdo. 
You're not a weirdo. I wasn't speaking about me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, no. There's no telling what will set you off. Now, breaking the ice with your colleagues using ethnic humor is the funniest kind of humor. What's your point? My point is, we're a couple, and I like you for who you are. Aww. Quirks and all. I like you too. I should hope so. <laughs> I don't see anyone else banging on this door to put up with your nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I like you too. Not even a goodbye. Slab. You see, that's the kind of thing that makes people think you're weird. Poor kid. She just doesn't see it. He can come beg me on his knees. Sheldon too. If I see him at work, I'm just going to ignore him. All right, don't worry. I talked to Leonard. He is going to sit the guys down and set them straight. Lasers warmed up. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. They don't care at all. <laughs> what are you working on? Can't talk. In the zone. <laughs> Do you know what he's doing? I'm unavailable. Time before that, he was making a list of who's allowed in his tree fort if he ever gets one. <laughs> Still can't believe I didn't make the cut. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, Sheldon, you want to take a break? Your food's ready. Yeah, what are you doing? He's both happy and quiet. <laughs> Sorry, just let the so guy to be in the zone. Uh, stuck at work. Great news. A raccoon virus just crossed the species barrier and now can infect humans. <laughs> Yay! Why is that great news? In the pharmaceutical business, we have a saying, mo infections, mo money. Guys, listen up. Can't listen. Zone. <laughs> also don't care. Next week is the anniversary of my first date with Bernadette. Really don't care. I want to do something special, and I was hoping you guys could be a part of it. Here's the deal. I'm writing a song, and I was hoping we could all play it for her together. Oh, oh, that's so cute. When do we get to the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's really sweet what Howard wants to do for Bernadette. Yeah. Hey, how come you've never done anything romantic to celebrate our first date? For starters, you've broken up with me so many times. Which first date are we talking about? <laughs> that's true. Whoa, there were so many dates. Can you even name one romantic thing you've done for me? I can name tons. Sex doesn't count. Oh. <laughs> bed and breakfast. Well, I took you there. All you did was... I know what I did. Yeah, I can be romantic if I want to. It's fine. And also not true. <laughs> See, I'm gonna romance your freaking ass off. That's beautiful. Is that Shakespeare? <laughs> Sheldon? <laughs> Bye, <Zone>. Sheldon. <laughs> He'll figure it out when he falls off the roof. Sheldon, I know you're in the zone, but do you want some tea? All right, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but... You haven't spoken in hours, and I'm starting to get worried. Please say something. <laughs> Leonard, prepare to be humbled and weep at the glory of my genius. I feel like my mind just made a baby, and it's beautiful. Sheldon, did you just figure out a method for synthesizing a new, stable, super heavy element? Yo, did I? <laughs> well, that can't be right. No one's ever done that before, except me, because I just did it. <laughs> Sheldon and his brain. Yeah. Sheldon and his brain. Yeah. So, I'm almost done writing a song for Bernadette. You cool playing the cello? Great. Will you play the ukulele? Uh, of course. I'd be happy to shred it so on my So it's gonna axe. be like the whole band. Or you could just play your tiny, ridiculous guitar. <laughs> Fine, I will melt her heart. And her face! <laughs> uh, no doubt you heard about my little breakthrough. Seriously, congratulations, Sheldon. Yeah, I read your paper online. That technique for creating a new heavy element is inspired. Oh, thank you. A Chinese research team ran a test on a cyclotron, and the results were extremely promising. Sheldon, that's incredible. Yeah, I know! They called it the greatest thing since the Communist Party. Sheldon is Whatever's so next. smart. Oh, more testing. Crazy. More I will remain the same down-to-earth, humble Joe I've always been. Good to know. Yeah. Now give me that cookie. I discovered an element. <laughs> well, well deserved cookie, hundred percent. As I'm sure you're aware, the quickest way to a man's heart is through his pants. But Leonard says sex doesn't count. You poor thing. You have one arrow in your quiver, and you just can't use it. <laughs> Another pathway to a man's heart is through his stomach. I don't know if I want to cook for him. He's kind of a picky eater. I mean, it's too salty. It's too dry. It's too burnt and frozen at the same time. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, you could uh, stand outside his window with a boombox in the air? <laughs> That's from Say Anything. Look, I'm a lonely guy. I watch a lot of movies. If you truly want to be romantic, it needs to come from you. No, I get that, but why is this so hard? Probably never had to do this stuff, because you're young and beautiful, and men have always thrown themselves at you. Yeah, I'm trying to be sad about that. I can't. <laughs> this is the magic marker I was using when I made the discovery.
<laughs> I don't think the Smithsonian's gonna want your marker. And that's why you're not on the list for my tree fort. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I feel like it's yes, gonna be wrong or something. Because it looks today. too good, too I'll promising, you, you know? You Sheldon, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, well, you should be. My discovery is spreading like wildfire. What's next? This is the very copy of the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics in which I looked up the reaction rates of Mendelevium and... No. no oh, no. no. I've made a horrible mistake. What are you talking about? This table. It's in square centimeters. I read it as square meters. Do you know what that means? That Americans can't handle the metric system? <laughs> <laughs> but the Chinese team found the element. Yeah, well, they shouldn't have. My calculations were wrong. So you just got lucky? Sheldon Cooper does not get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> he works hard. You and me both, brother. <laughs> The element was found because of you, and that's groundbreaking. The greatest scientific achievement of my life is based on a blunder. Like, I'm not a genius. I'm a fraud. No, it's you know, okay. Sometimes mistakes can help you, you know? You still did the calculation right, stuff, just in a different metric system. I think it's still cool. I'm being given credit that I don't deserve. Oh, people get things they don't deserve all the time. Look at me with you. <laughs> every science classroom, every periodic table, every textbook, some mistake will be staring back at me. Buddy, I don't think you can. I mean, once it's out there, it's out there. This thing is like the science equivalent of a sex tape. You know, frankly, I'd prefer a sex tape. You don't know what a sex tape is, do you? No. Make sure you guys get to the restaurant by 8. Bernadette's meeting me there at 8.30, and I don't want to blow the surprise. We'll be there. Got it. I have a question about the song. I was thinking at some point I could bust out a little rap. <laughs> no rap. In it, Thank you. Look, look, no. <laughs> that was good. Uh, Leonard, give me a beat. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a beat. Please. <laughs> no, this will be real <laughs> It will I'm be. I'm bad at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Stop it. Stop celebrating me. Woo! Wait, and no <laughs> woos. <laughs> yeah, oh, not you, Dr. Woo. You're fine. I want you all to know that you have no reason to applaud me. My so-called breakthrough wasn't the result of my genius. It was nothing more than a boneheaded mistake. I don't understand. They didn't find the element? Oh, no, they found the element. <laughs> oh, don't stop it! How do I make them stop loving me? I'll invite them to live with us. <laughs> the love will disappear straight away. Right, so what you did is amazing. We're really proud of you. I'm not. You're not? Sheldon, I've been thinking about it, and you're right. You don't deserve any credit. All you did was misread some numbers on a table. A very easy table, too. Honestly, <laughs> I'm embarrassed for you. She's playing the trick on him. Playing the trick. That's the most the romantic trick. thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Damn it, everyone's better at this than me. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Fowler. You just made the fort. <laughs> Guys, it was an accident at Bernie's lab. Oh my god, is she okay? Yeah, but she's at the hospital in quarantine. I hate to pile on the bad news, but I just got a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing, how could you, how could you? Oh, Bernie, what happened? Well, let's just say the next time you move a dozen vials of raccoon virus to the fridge, make two trips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a precaution. If there was a problem, I'd be throwing up out of my eyeballs by now. <laughs> Sorry I messed up our date. Oh. Don't worry about it. I brought the date here. <laughs> Guys, come on in. Oh, oh this is so well, cute. Tonight is the anniversary I'm ready of our to first cry. date. Just, and I wanted to celebrate that's it. it. By <laughs> she might be contagious. Well, she's behind the glass. Do you think I'm having a rough enough day? <laughs> if I didn't have you, life would be blue. I'd be Doctor Who without the TARDIS Be an atom without a bomb, a dot without the com And I'd probably still live with my mom <laughs> He'd probably still live with his mom You turned my world around, you supported all my dreams and all my hopes You're like Uranium-235 and I'm Uranium-238 How good my life would get From the moment that I met you, Bernadette Oh. If I didn't have you, life would be dreary. <laughs> I'd speak a lot more Klingon, Kalaknacht, Cock, Judge, Vaughn. And he'd definitely still live with his mom. <laughs> We're like changing electric and magnetic fields. You can't have one without the other. How good my life would be. 
would get from the moment that I met you, Bernadette. Oh, oh, oh. so cute! <laughs> That was a bomb. Amazing. Look, I'm shaking. She's sick, <laughs> I knew it. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I have to say, Get ready, because there is a crap storm of romance coming your way. Stop it, you're gonna make me cry. All right. You seem pretty confident. Oh, I am. What's Maybe next? If you follow this trail, you'll see why. <laughs> Rose petal, you made the bed. You really are pulling out all this stuff. <laughs> okay, I gave this a lot of thought, and I finally found something to show you how much I love you. It's the first edition of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I remember it was your favorite book growing up. Thank you it's so much. What? <laughs> Something's going on. What's wrong with it? I remember you saying how great it would be to have a first edition. When we were at the used bookstore together, and I saw the first edition, and I bought it. Oh, <laughs> but at oh least you remembered. God, I am the worst. No, it's okay. It's really thoughtful. No, it's not. I mean, what's thoughtful is everything you do. Look, here's the the plane ticket you bought me when I was too poor to go home for the holidays, and the rose you left in my windshield. Oh. Here's the, the thank you letter you wrote me after the first time I slept with you. <laughs> all 11 pages of it. I believe you saved all this stuff. Of course I did. It's you. Aww. Is that a pregnancy test? Oh, yeah, just the first one. I didn't save them all. <laughs> I can't believe I read this table wrong. I blame you. <laughs> Why? 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 Yeah, you well. distract me. I've been distracted since the moment I met you. Sorry. Distracted well, you by be. love. Because all I can think about is how much I want to kiss you. And not just on the cheek, but on the mouth. You! Mr. Cooper! What mommies and daddies do. <laughs> what? Oh, oh Sheldon. <laughs> it's gonna be a dream. It's gonna be a dream. Wait. Hey. Knew that. Amy. Knew that. Did you hear what I said? Can't talk in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how happy she is. Oh, Amy, Amy. Well, guys, once again, episodes were 10 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. First one was about Amy moving to Sheldon's university. I don't see it as a bad thing. Yeah, you obviously can, you know, keep your relationship professional at work and then you have your like romance relationship when you're out of work. You can still eat together, talk together. I don't know, I don't see this like as a bad thing. But what Sheldon did when he went to talk to Amy's colleagues, like he was he, he was a bit out of line, so he could have say hello, like I'm Dr. Cooper, like this is my partner, whatever and that's it but what he did yeah just embarrassed Amy a little bit but shouldn't do this <laughs> just say hi and goodbye and then the second episode Howard writing this song oh my god that's so cute it's usually the cutest thing after what he did like got the necklace of the star when he went to space and then he kind of you know returned the star from the space to give it to Bernadette and then the song is like the second cutest thing he ever done and oh my god it literally made me cry <laughs> this song is so cute and the support of his friends it's amazing as well like they all went to hospital even Sheldon even though he doesn't like hospitals at all he still made it to the hospital <laughs> just to sing the song yeah I find it so cute really enjoyed this episode so romantic so cute oh cozy loved it <laughs> so yeah that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!